Welcome back everyone, I'm the Diversio and this is Elden Ring. Let's try to help out Millicent. This is I believe we fight against four other Millicents, is the is the thing here. Oh my god, this targeting is ass. Wow, she did not last long at all. That is insane. How did she not last that long? <laughs> That's impressive. Well, the good news is we can try as many times as we like. Bad news is we get to try as many times as we like. Oh my god. Oh wow, she already died. I think she fell off a cliff. This is awful. Ow. How is she that bad? I recall that like the original strategy was just let her beat up everybody, but she's not she's not getting anywhere. This is insane. Please do your super move. There we go. Okay. I think just by spamming a bunch of spells, it forces them to constantly dodge and roll instead of attacker. Rotten Wing, Disorder, Insignia. Greatly raises attack power with successive strikes. So it's just an upgraded form of this thing. Uh, Talisman depicting a yeah, 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 raised prosthetic braid, uh, blade, an honor bestowed upon the Valkyries who serve the Goddess of Rot. Uh, greatly raises the attack power, blah blah blah. The four sisters were born in the swamp of Aeonia and came to the tree under the Aegis of Gowrie. And yet those buds were doomed to never blossom. Cool. Hey, are you around? <laughs> ah, there you are. Hello. Thank you for lending your hand. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person. If only in passing. But this is where things end. I pause to even tell you. I took out the needle myself. Tell whoever put you up to this that if I am to flower into something other than myself, I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. Please, let me pass alone. The scarlet rot writhes now. Worse than ever. Soon, I won't be more than a mound of flesh. Curse laden. Untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm. Please. The Scarlet Soon. Curse laden. I wouldn't want some. 
All right. So, like everything else, majority of everything else in this game, if you do some unset, you know, errands and checklists, it will inevitably die. All right, but I think the idea for the uh, the needle was just to not really save her, but to prepare her to, for whatever rot stuff the uh, the bug people wanted to do. In any case, I think it's about time we head back. How do I get back? I don't want to teleport because I'm not sure if that's actually the right location. So I'm going to hit the um, the Grace and then come back and we'll see if she's still there. Because I believe we can get her needle and we kind of need it. Okay, I'm glad I didn't miss the... when I saw that flower um, that had already bloomed I was concerned that was our, that was a uh, was her, unfortunately, or Millicent. All right, so we can go ahead and sit here. Oh wow, we can actually. Uh, yeah, we can level up already. We fought what a a number of things there, so level up. Give me more endurance. I want all the stamina's at this point. All right. So yeah, we rested. We'll come back, see how she's doing. I think there's been um. I've heard, like people mention like accidentally hitting her, like accidentally jumping on her, and it kills her instantly. <laughs> Stupid. Yep, I'm killing you. There we go. Alright, drink this. Let's go. Let's see if we can say hi to her again. It, it might be we have to come back here after the fact. After we go and fight boss lady. That does not seem to be the case though. I can see the item from here. Unallied gold needle, which is the one we had that we gave her and she stabbed into herself and then took out. Yeah, I think the idea was like to keep it to keep the rot at bay and let it essentially uh, keep growing in her without killing her type situation or until the the rot worshipping bugs do whatever with her. But she decided to take fate in her own hands and kill herself, because that's what everyone does in this game, is kill themselves. Alright. So now we can go here. I will check to see if there's a different text, just in case. Uh, intricately carved, removed by Millicent from her flesh, bears no trace of befouled blood, but it is faintly moist with dew. There is something I must return to Melania, or Melania. The, uh, dignity, the sense of self that allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot. Okay. So this is the drainage channel. And I believe we need to go to the roots again. All right, here we are. Now I believe there's a there's the good old legend of a guy here that's in nothing but wearing nothing but a pot, a pot and dual wielding I think katanas or something that uh, that his name let me solo her. I don't know if he's still around, but if you happen to summon him, he will solo the boss for you and is quite good at this, but I guess to explain the boss a bit, uh, all of her attacks do rot, all of her attacks heal her, even if it does no damage, so if you're one of those people with 100% physical block, 
Um, you'll block her attacks, you'll still get the rot, you'll take no damage, but she'll still heal. Um, and then she has just a variety of moves that are really, really spammy, um, that do a lot of attacks that are very hard to avoid. All of her attacks are technically avoidable, um, but they're not something a, a, a person fighting for the first time will be able to recognize. And in a lot of cases, if you're not uh, particularly agile, you're going to have a lot of trouble with her. Um, and then she has a phase two where she does more of the same, uh, but all of her attacks do more damage and she can do massive rod explosions and stuff like that. So it's all really, really brutal. So my idea, uh, so supposedly she doesn't actually come at you until you approach her or attack her first, supposedly. Um, so I'll use that opportunity to go ahead and get my summons out, get myself healed up, buffed up, and then just uh, throw moons at her from a distance and hope that will be enough. I dreamt for so long. My flesh was dull gold, and my blood rotted. Corpse after corpse left in my wake. As I awaited his return. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. Well, I've known defeat a lot. I'm very- oh wow! So apparently she just rushes you now. Well, I think it's probably probably because of the cutscene, but that's okay. Um, so we're just gonna summon you real quick. Okay. Yep, she's in angry mode. I believe once she drops to a certain level, uh, HP threshold, she'll uh, start going bonkers. Yep, there's her super move. Yep, there she goes. Almost avoided it.
<laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's how ridiculous her, her move is. It, the way you have to avoid it if you're going to be dodging is like you act. There's a you have to bait her to go a different direction, and then quickly whip the other way. All right, so that was a bit messy start. But I'm not surprised. So, okay. This will at least buy us a little bit more time instead of being immediately attacked. Yeah, the problem is they, the pet will actually, uh... Do I want to just risk it this way then? Yeah, I don't know how to avoid the attack. And if you... If you I mean, you can block it, but the other issue is when she does it, she recovers like half her HP. It's not fun. And essentially, once she hits a certain HP threshold, she will. There's just. There's not. There's nothing you'll. If the moment she jumps in the air, that's when she's doing it. She can do it whenever. She can spam it over and over again until she has her fill. Everything about it is awful. I'm gonna try. Oh, I'm also not, uh. I also forgot that I don't have the um, uh, the ring bonus right now because I died. So first things first, let's. Uh, I'm not going to use a crossbow for this. Go ahead and drop all that. The rest I'll keep for now. It does feel like uh, the assassin does a little bit better. <laughs> Did not mean to let that get close to me. Yeah, unfortunately, the assassin doesn't have a lot of HP. The, uh, the frame rate's also not helping either. Okay, get away. Yep. God, that, that's... There's literally no way to avoid it. You can't... You have to be really far away to even run away from it. So that means I have to figure out a way to dodge it. Which uh, I don't want to do, because this boss is annoying. I 
I don't know if she's the worst boss, but she's uh, not great. All right, we'll try. We're gonna try you again. Yep, so she's back to full health again. And you don't really have time to learn it either. Like, once she's on you, you're you're kind of just dead. <laughs> like, if it was an attack, you can you know maybe learn through repetition. But you see, I I literally die in the the, the moment that well maybe begins. God, don't do that twirl staff. You literally have a million of different moves and you're doing the twirl staff. Okay, we're in phase two. And I'm going to die on the first attack, because I know what the first attack is going to do. She's going to dive bomb and explode. If I, if I get hit by the dive bomb, I die. If I get hit with the explosion, I die. Pass. Here it comes. <laughs> and there goes my. All right. So, kind of my only hope is to let the mimic hit get hit with the super attack.
Everything else is uh, kind of a no-go. I'll try saving the, the Physic for the second phase. Maybe I can hopefully tank a hit that way. Let the shield take it. It's still not going to go great. But it's kind of my only hope. <laughs> She switches aggro based off of the last attacker, so I'm kind of trying to trade, alternate between me and the, and the mimic. That works. Okay, here comes the explosion. Yep, got hit with the got hit with the dive bomb, so it killed me. Okay, not bad for our first first real try against the second phase. I ran I actually ran out of stamina, which is a good sign, which means I'm getting I'm getting enough hits in. But yeah, it's a it's a it's definitely a, a tug of war here between me and the mimic. Drink. Stamina again. Got him. Okay. Oh, come on. Here it comes. Nope. I can't get her to flinch.
Oh, so close. Alright, we'll try one more attempt, I guess. As I mentioned in the previous video, this was going to be a, its own video. It wouldn't be so bad if her attacks, not every single one of her little light attacks takes away over a quarter of my life. And even if you stack more HP, it doesn't, it doesn't really solve the problem. I mean, what am I at? Yeah, I'm at 60 bigger with this on me. And you can see that the five points of vigor didn't really change my, my HP that much. Oh, are you? Why didn't the, why didn't the moon home in? Are you kidding me? Go ahead and drink. Ended me. <sighs> Alright, we'll try one more again. Getting stabbed by that one attack gave her so much health back. And I can't you can't play defensively. Like if you do, you you she heals every time she hits. And I have to have the pet in the in the beginning because I can't dodge her special, her barrage of attacks. I just can't. As at least not while recording. There's no way I can do it while recording because of the frame rate. It's all those freaking petals in the air. Bonk. That'll do it. Nope, wrong drink. Well, that works, sort of.
come on. Stay away from me. Oh, come on. Drink. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I was one hit away, and then she hit me, and then I couldn't get away. So yeah, I think that works. I'll just have, I have to use the Mimic and throw moons at her. I'm not going to stop at this point since I'm so close, so let's see how this goes. <sighs> All right. Drink. You know what? Go ahead and do this. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna call it here. I am the Depressed Dio, this is Alden Ring. I'll see you guys next time.